You got diving equipment, firefighting. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, 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 no. I didn't see an island load. That island. Uh oh. Oh, dear. This is going to hurt. No, this is not the way I wanted to see. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> YouTube Moto Gaming here bring you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue and yes folks we are back with Sinking Tuesdays and boy am I excited for today. So we're going to be checking out the C900. This is a multi-purpose vessel. It is an advanced ship and it's got an advanced helicopter on it too. And I must say the uh, engine setup on this thing is a uh, pretty insane looking. The piping the way this thing starts up and the functionality, I believe it's four huge diesel motors. And look at this piping maze. This is amazing. So we are going to check out this ship. Uh, hopefully we don't blow it up or sink it, but obviously that's going to happen since it's sinking ship survival. Now, as far as I know, it doesn't have a scuttle button, so we're going to have to push this thing to its limits to see how it sinks. And we have the uh, helicopter as an option for escape. Now folks, that is not the only thing that we're going to be doing here today. Somebody requested that I run an airplane into a ship to see if it would sink it. So I think that might be the second thing that we try here today. But the creation will be linked down in the description, so if you want to download this ship, uh, it'll be down there. And if you guys have any ideas for future episodes of Sinking Tuesdays, comment below. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. Now, I must say, this ship is actually quite impressive. We are going to go on a little tour of it. As soon as I figure out how to actually crank it up, I think it's actually got a uh, some instructions, but I like to try to figure these things out on my own. So you got a fuel shut off here. There's your foghorn. There's a start all right there. Uh, fire, the bad type. I think that's a fire. Yeah, there's a fire suppression uh, system. Does it have a blow up? button what does that mean i don't know i kind of want to press that all right so i guess we'll go ahead engage generator clutch uh auxiliary fuel pumps are on let's go ahead and push the clutches in drive clutch fuel shut off okay so let's see if we can start this real quick okay it is idling so we're good there there okay there's engine three there's engine four. I could have hit the start all, but that's no fun. So, oh, it died. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> I should probably really, really read the, the instructions on this thing. Oh, instruments, lights on. Turn those. Okay, those are on. Nav lights, cockpit lights. Let's see. Stern thrust. All right, let's try this again. Let's go with the start all. Actually, all the clutches are engaged. Let's give it a little bit of throttle, see if we can get it to uh, pop off here. And. Is it going? Is it going? Are we? Dang it! <laughs> okay, I need to read the instructions. Oh boy! I, I thought I'd try that by myself, but apparently I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Alright, so I think we are uh, ready to attempt this real quick. Okay, batteries are charged up. So, I need to turn the throttle to about, to about four, it says. So, there we go. There's that. We want to engage the main clutch. So, main clutch is engaged. Let's see. All right, so I need to turn on the auxiliary fuel pump. So that is on now. And then I need to turn... Oh, I need to turn the fuel shutoff on. So now I think everything's getting fuel. So I need to start all. So let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah, it cranked up that time. That is so cool. All right, so now I can select a gear here. So let's see. What is this? Fourth gear... Uh, those are lights, so engage second, engage first, okay, so first is engaged, uh, so will we move forward now? Uh, okay, hold on, I don't think I've, I don't think I've done this yet, oh, I need to engage the drive clutch now, alright, there's the drive clutch, oh, there we go, ah, we're gonna scrape the dock on the way out, wow, this was, a, uh, this is a little more difficult to start than, uh, most of them are, that was actually really cool, though. That is a really, really in-depth ship. All right, so I think we can go uh, up another gear here. So let's go second gear. So, ooh, that had some pickup on it. Okay, so let's see. Wow, this thing's actually moving pretty fast. 
Ah, oh, nice. All right, so we are aimed out. Um, the front's up a bit. Is there a ballast somewhere? What is this thing? Oh, it's uh, sensors. Okay. Uh, you've got some. These are thrusters, I guess, to kind of make it turn left and right a little bit easier. Uh, lights are engaged, so those are all good to go. There's your foghorn. All right, so let's check everything. Engines look to be good. We're going to throttle back just a bit here. Okay, I think we're good. Is there a temperature gauge? Oh, there they are. Man, the, uh, the temps are a little inconsistent. I wonder what's causing that. All right, so let's go on a little tour here. This is the top deck. This would, I guess, would be a crew or maybe people you've rescued. Back here, you've got uh, the magnets and stuff for the back, which I'm assuming that's just for the helicopter there. Uh, let's go below deck. This thing's got actually a lot of levels, so... Let's go ahead and go. That was deck four. This is deck three. Three, I believe, is your medical deck. Yeah, so you've got that. And this thing looks like you could almost hold a vehicle in here. Actually, those windows are below water. Uh, those two big back doors actually open up. Uh, I'll show you guys that here in a minute. All right, so level two, I believe this is crew quarters. Actually, this is the bottom. Yeah, here's the crew quarters right here. So you've got the little beds and stuff like that. Uh, back here, this is that little storage area I was talking about, and then this is, uh, I guess you can call it the engine room. Now, you are seeing some, uh, water. That's actually the fuel tanks, I'm assuming. So, it's not water. It's actually, uh, diesel, because these are diesel engines, right? I believe they are. So, you got two big tanks there. This thing's just a maze of pipes. Actually, do we have a, is this a light? There we go. Oh, man. How do you even begin to figure this thing out? This is a really, really advanced ship. Uh, can we go down even further? Or is this the bottom? This might be the bottom. Actually, you know what? There was uh, another way down. Let's see. More cabins. This is a stairwell. Let's go and close that. Alright, so this is one. So, this is... Oh, yeah. This is the engine room. Now, you are going to notice these nozzles. It does have a fire suppression system. So, if everything hits the fan down here, uh, you can click the fire suppression. And it should hopefully put the engine fire out. Now, there was a fire button in the front that I'm really tempted to click because it's got my curiosity. Uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, this is like a big bed in here. That's really neat. All right, let's go ahead and head back up and we'll check out the deck. All right, so in front of the medical here, oh, look at this. This thing is equipped. You got diving equipment, firefighting. Uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 I didn't see an island load. That island, uh oh, oh dear, this is gonna hurt. No, this is not the way I wanted to see. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I think the boat just took off in air. No. Wait, are we by the island that we just hit? Uh, is our boat still here? Where'd the boat go? No! That is not... Or do we hit the nuclear island? Dang it! Where'd our boat go? Wow. Alright, that was impressive. I, I don't... Yeah, I gotta go through the startup procedure again, don't I? Oh boy. That was a... Uh, that was something. Hey, at least I can spawn the boat back here. Alright, so we're gonna keep her in first gear. Second gear is actually really fast, and you don't really have time to react to anything. So... Man, I don't think that it's ever going to happen again. Like, that was a once-in-a-lifetime we took off to outer space. Now, question is, do they despawn your ship if you die? Because if not, there is a ship somewhere, like, in the air. Uh, wouldn't it be something if that thing came down and landed on us? That would be uh, probably one of the most amazing things to happen ever. Uh, it just said it's loading vehicles. What the heck? Look! There it is! There's my ship! It just landed in the water. Oh, there it goes. What is it doing? It is possessed. <laughs> Hello, ship. Goodbye, ship. I, got, I caught it last moment. It said it was loading vehicles and it fell from the sky. Well, you know, it actually looks like it's in pretty decent shape. For ship damage being on, it's uh, doing pretty well for itself. I'm pretty sure it's going to sink, though. Alright, we are clear ahead of us. I'm going to show you guys the last thing uh, is the uh, doors. 
in the back. I really did want to show you guys that, so let's check those out real quick. All right, so this thing does have doors. Uh, I think I'm still trying to figure out what this is. Do you guys know? You got to click this seal button to unseal them, and then you pop them open. It's just like a big storage compartment, but I mean, you can't really park a ship there, and it doesn't open up for like a helicopter, so. I'm not really sure what you'd be storing down here. Maybe it's just general storage? I don't know. Alright, so let's go ahead and close those. Just in case we hit some high waves. There we go. And they're sealed. Uh, did the other boat disappear? I'm assuming it went off that way. That thing's bound to sink. Uh, you would think so, but I don't know. Maybe not. Alright, so we are going to deal with some waves. I'm not going to turn it up to 100% here. I want to give ourselves a bit of a chance. This thing actually rides the waves kind of weird because it's uh, it's front end's really far up. Uh, I didn't see like a fill ballast or anything. Oh, okay, we don't. Oh, okay, I don't want to. Oh, no. Oh, okay, Han. Before we get slammed down, let's go ahead and uh, let's kick it back to third gear here. There we go. It's uh, a little bit better there. All right, so chopper's back there. Can the chopper disengage itself? I would hope that it can just in case we uh that's gonna be our means of escape but okay let's see okay so we want to click this fire button and click what's it do or is that just for the fire suppression Han? Huh? you know what maybe the thing doesn't blow itself up i don't i don't really uh the fire button yeah maybe it is just for the fire suppression so it's like it doesn't want you to click the fire suppression or something uh, so it's got it behind like a little lock button. Alright, so that is not an explodey button, as far as I can tell. It's just uh, like a, hey, click that, and then you'll click that for fire suppression. Alright, so that's not the way this thing's going down. Alright, so I guess we need to keep putting this thing through its paces. Let's go ahead and turn on these thrusters, too. There we go. Let's see, second gearbox. Anything that we're missing here? I think we pretty much got everything going. Alright, so I guess we are going to make this thing work for its money here. Let's go ahead and crank this to 100. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I also thought that that button might possibly blow up the engine. So, uh, let's go ahead and do a bit of survival this way. I do not believe... Yeah, we're not in deep waters right now, so it's not too bad. Man, the exhaust on this thing looks weird. Like, normally the exhaust kind of spreads out. It's like shooting out one little pipe or something out the top. That's actually kind of cool looking. Uh, we are just cutting through the side of these waves right now. Man, this is a really fun boat. Uh, this thing is just... I don't think I've ever seen anything react like it. It's got to be those four diesel motors. Like, like, that's, I guess, just a lot of power for a boat this size. Whoa! There we go. I really should be hitting these straight forward, but I'm kind of cruising along the waves here. Uh, we finally made it out to deep water, so kind of whatever happens here... It's gonna dictate whether or not this thing sinks or not. Uh, oh boy. Because, yeah, we've already seen what this thing looks like when you run it into an island. Uh, that's pretty obvious, but... Let's see if we can get this thing over. Oh, there we go. Ah, here we go. What the... Wait. Did it just die? Why did it not uh, start off? What? Did we, did we blow the motors? Hold on, is there any smoke coming out? The engine's just shut down. Uh-oh. Uh, we are in some rough waters here. Hold on. Okay, let me think. Engine startup. Throttle 40. Auxiliary pumps on. Let's go ahead and... Okay, drive clutch is up. Let's go ahead and put it into first... Oh! Look at that water. Okay, so it's back into first. Okay, so can I get a start all... Oh, turn that off. Okay. Come on. Are we out of fuel or something? Did we did we run it out? No, it's got 0.66 and 0.64 in its tanks right now. All right, so let's turn off some of the thrusters. Let's try to give it max power here. Okay, so... All right, auxiliary pump. You got generator clutch, but I don't have to turn that on. Oh, let's go fuel shut off again. There we go. So that needed to be turned back on. Huh. All right, so we're good. We're not dead in the water. Oh, man, this thing's getting pounded now. Oh, man, this thing's doing a pretty good job. It's leaning a little bit. I've noticed that. 
Uh, it's like we've just started to we'll lean over to one side. It's like the boat's gotten a, a bit heavier. All right, so engine temps are fine. The, the highest I've seen them get to is about 70, so I think we're good there. What the heck? We have damage. Where do we get damage from? That doesn't even make sense. Uh, I haven't hit anything. That's, that's a bit weird. Do we have... Is there water down here? Hold on. No, it doesn't appear... That's water in the tank. It doesn't appear like it's taking on water, I don't believe. Ah, uh, you know what? There might be a slight leak in there. Oh, oh, you know what? It is holding a little bit of water. The heck? Come on, we need to go look at that real quick. All right, so... Is having it at 100% waves been too aggressive? But I didn't think you would actually get damage like that. Hold on, let's go, uh... Let's go check the chopper real quick. We need to prep everything. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's happening here. All right, let's go to the back here. Here's the engine room. Uh, is that glitched or is that... No, that's water. Okay, we got water in the engine room right now. Hold on, let's get up. Wait, how do we get to the back deck, though? Are we... Are we stuck? Is there an opening for the... Is there a way to open the doors? Hey! That's the chopper! We need to get in that! Or get it ready! Oh, 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 no, 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 no! Oh, that hurt! Oh, that's not good. Okay, hold on. We gotta find a way out of here. Oh, boy. Okay, so we do have damage. Hold on, let's get around to the back. Uh, I don't want to wait too long. I know we are taking on water here. Come on. Ah, those waves. Okay. You know, I should probably kill the motor or something. Oh, boy, this is not very fun. Uh, I gotta stay down. We're not gonna get off this boat if we don't kill the motor down a little bit. Oh, man. Okay, there's a big wave. Uh, because I do think we're slowly leaking in from that damage. I guess we got the damage from waves. Oh, boy. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, come on. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> I just got slammed onto the deck. Oh boy, alright, you know what, I did save it while I was out there after the damage. Oh man, I feel like we need to get one more attempt here. Man, we have not been good today. We've died two times already. Alright, we're back. I'm assuming we're still taking on water and that doesn't reset the state of it. We need to kill the gearing on this and yeah, we need to escape off this thing. This is not going to be good. Oh boy. Come on. Oh. <laughs> We got this. All right. Uh, how do we just kill the things? Uh, instrument lights. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Come on. Uh, fuel shut off. There we go. All right. Auxiliary pumps are off. Oh, we need to get moving here, folks. This thing is sinking. Okay. Uh, I need to go out the front deck. Oh boy. Oh yeah. There's definitely water in here. You can see all the little graphical glitches. All right. Open this. Up. Oh no! 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 Uh, do we put the gear on? Uh, is it cheating putting the gear on? Uh, you know what? I don't have time to debate here. Uh oh, come on. All right. Ooh, run, 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 run. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, we're actually gonna make it today, folks. Oh, no, no, no. Get down, get down. Okay. Wait. Is this thing flooded? Will it, will it even start? Okay. Uh, auto hover. Oh, you can see the water raising. Okay, start engine. No. 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 Okay. Alternators are on, so batteries should be charging. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. There it goes. There it goes. It cranked. Oh, yes. Okay, magnet. Wait. Is it? No, it won't stay on. Is it running? Electrical backlights. Auto hover on. Backlights on. Okay. All right, ready? Three, two. I got to make sure it's running because if I disengage that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes. Yes, we're actually going to. Uh oh, oh, come on. <laughs> Yes, we're gonna make it off the ship folks. Uh, this thing's acting kind of funny um, Are we good? Is it okay? The engine barely sounds like it's running on this thing. It looks like it was partially flooded Ah, there goes the boat. Oh Oh, look at the pad We just made it off that you know, I feel kind of bad for having to use the extra lives there but man, in violent seas like that, you just get thrown around so bad. Yeah, oh, there she goes. I'm kind of curious, is that a thing? Can the waves damage you like that? I think they can. 
I don't know, it actually looks like I ran into something. Oh, with all that damage it had on it. Yeah, she's still slowly going down, but... Oh, never mind. I said it's slowly. Ah, uh, it's trying to stay afloat, man. It's really trying, but I'm glad we got the helicopter off when we did. People probably would have been pretty mad if I would have waited around with that. Because, yeah, that thing barely wanted to crank. Man, that was close. That was really close. So, yeah, I think the, uh, the waves about took her out. She's still bobbing. But you see how long the pad stays underwater there. Oh, that's some cool stuff. Wow. Well, say goodbye to the ship. Uh, where's the nearest landmass? Actually, do we have fuel on this? Altitude, speed, electronics are charging now, it seems like. I don't see a fuel gauge. Oh, there goes the boat. Yep, it's gone. All right, so what? We escaped with that about a minute, I would say, left on the boat. All right, well, I guess we get the heck out of here in the chopper. That is cool. Uh-oh. Okay, I thought it stopped running again. This is kind of a, a weird-looking little chopper. All right, let's get the heck out of here. We got one last thing to do here. I'm going to go ahead and crash something. I'm going to go turn player damage off. That way I can survive the plane crash. And we're just going to run into the side of a ship and see what happens as the finale. All right, so for the grand finale, we're going to run a plane into a boat. So we're going to be using the uh, the jet fighter that was in the update. So let's go ahead, fire that up there. Okay. All right, let's give it a little, little power there. All right, hopefully I can pilot this thing. This thing is pretty finicky. All right, let's go ahead, go forward. There we go. Oh, buddy. Okay, power back a little bit. All right, landing gear up. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing moving over here. Got my target right there. I don't know how hard this is going to be to hit. This thing does not fly. You know, it seems like something's changed. Is there another update or something? The, the flight physics seem different now. I don't know. We're going for it, though. Uh oh, 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 oh. Nope, that's going to be a, that's not going to be a hit there. All right, so we're going to need to, like, pass low here and somehow try to hit this thing. Yeah, it seems a lot more sensitive today. Uh, I don't wonder if there's been an update that's been pushed. Yeah, this thing is... Oh, this thing's almost unflyable. What the heck? Okay. All right. Oh, no. No. What the heck, Stormworks? What did we change here? Something does not feel... Something doesn't feel right anymore. All right, so I had to power down here. These things are way more finicky than they were the other day. So my hope is that powered down, I can control this thing enough to where we can hit that boat right, right there. All right, here we go. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? How the heck? That was minimal amount of damage. We didn't even damage the boat. Hold on, can we power out of this? Ooh, come on. Don't flood the jets. Afterburners. On. Ah, it's flooding. We didn't even damage it at all. How the heck is that possible? All right. Let's, uh, let's try it one more time. All right. I don't know how much more of a missile we could really be. I don't understand how that didn't even damage the ship. Uh, okay. Here we come again. All right. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Here. <laughs> what? Oh man, I don't think you can damage these things enough. You'd have to use a big cargo plane or something. Oh, okay. That's a thing. Yeah, like uh, the damage is pretty minimal. Can I open the canopy? Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, let's escape. Was that enough to even make it leak water? Well, it was leaking earlier, huh? On. So can you sink this? Is the question. Now, I'm pretty sure if you used a big cargo plane, it would just probably tip the boat over. Huh, let's go check down the stairwell real quick and see if we've uh, done any science here. Uh, the first smack was at the top of the boat. It didn't even show any damage. This one was a little bit more aggressive towards the back. Huh, let's go down here. I think I'm seeing the flickering off the jet itself. Uh, no visible water. Hold on, let's go. Can I go to this side? Can I see over here? Let's go. Oh, no, there is no corridor over there. So, we're not. No, we're not leaking. 
Yeah, you'd have to do quite a bit of damage. You'd have to hit it with multiple planes. All right. Well, that kind of eliminates that factor. Uh, this looks really odd. All right, so I got to figure out what they changed on some of the planes. Uh, something seems like it's changed with some of the uh, physics, so... Yeah, that thing is not going down. I mean, you can hit it in the side, but it's still only a little area of damage. Uh, we're probably gonna have to try with some multiplayer or something and try to hit it with a, uh, maybe with a big plane or something. Hit it into the side of one of these ships. Pretty sure it's just gonna tip it over when you do that, but maybe, just maybe the damage will be a little bit more severe. Because, yeah, that wasn't bad at all. I was surprised that it didn't lag, though. But anyways, I think it's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks Sinking Ship Survival. We got one pretty good sink in, I would say. Uh, we actually escaped by helicopter, and we attempted to hit this thing a couple times. It does do damage, but it's not that much. We might have to try a ship versus ship next time and see if we can get a better result, but nonetheless, still kind of a work in progress. Wait a minute. Oh, look at that. It did damage the top of the ship. I thought it didn't damage it at all. Man, that would have been kind of scary being on the inside and seeing that come down. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support on the Stormworks series, and we will see you guys next time on Stormworks.